Did you all hear that voice just now? It must have been the Dusk Lord. He was calling out for Sauron. The Dusk Lord says someone is disturbing his sleep. He must be talking about the treasure hunters that were fooled by the Syndicate. Weren't you listening, Chippy? The Dusk Lord said that witch disturbs my sleep. He wasn't talking about a person. Whatever it is, it must be something that a divine doesn't consider to be human. Most likely, but... Why would a Hypogean want to disturb the Dusk Lord's slumber? All we can do is keep moving forward. The Crimson Highlands will be full of danger, so stay on your guard. Are... are you real? Or just another hallucination? <coughs> it doesn't matter. Please, don't go. I need someone by my side. What, what are you doing? Why did you cut yourself all of a sudden? The pain keeps my mind clear. <coughs> Please, just listen to me. We never should have come here looking for treasure. They all went insane. And what's worse, I don't think there was ever any treasure here. Only... despair. Don't worry, he's still breathing. Should we take him somewhere safe? A good deed like that would mean doubling back for miles, and we don't have that kind of time. He doesn't have any discernible wounds on his body. My guess is he simply passed out from exhaustion. Then maybe we should leave him with some medicine and supplies. What do you think, Magister? We may not know this man, but this is the least we can do. We've already wasted too much time. Let's keep moving. Divines above, I confess that I have stolen my neighbor's terrorbird eggs, and also made his roof leak. I was wrong, but please, I beg of you, don't deprive me of the right to stay at the Dusk Lord's side. He's rambling. His injuries are serious, and his brain seems to have suffered damage too. He is at his limit and needs to take this. It's food. Wait, a ball of muddy grass like that is only going to make him worse. Entendre taught me how to make this. Not only will it fill his stomach, but it'll also purge his body of any toxins. She's right, Citrana. I learned this recipe from a kind old man who I met during my travels. It's made from a special red clay mixed with certain herbs. It's meant to be used for emergencies. Is this really okay? See, Entendre? She doesn't trust you at all. That's not what I meant. Entendre is too trusting of other people. Who's to say that this old man was telling the truth? I've taken this before, Citrana. It's perfectly safe, I promise. Fine. If you say so. I'll give it to him. Am I doing this right, Entendre? Well done, Coco. It looks like you're capable of taking good care of others now. <laughs> Entendre praised me again! Ugh. Are you feeling better now? I never expected to wake up and see such a beautiful face looking down at me. Tell me, did the Divine send you to rescue me, my fair lady? Let go! Don't you dare touch her! Ah, I am sorry. I couldn't help myself just now. It's fine. If you're feeling better, then hurry up and leave. We don't have time to keep you company right now. Wait! You plan to keep going further? Don't you know how dangerous it is in there? 
We have to keep going. Even if you manage to resist the hallucinations, you won't make it past the webbed wall or the bloodthirsty spiders that made them. They'll eat you alive. Spiders? Understood. Thank you for the warning. You really are going, aren't you? Please, just be careful around those spiders. like stuff from the Adamant Syndicate. Even though the Claws rounded up a bunch of folks to do their bidding, some of them couldn't escape the spider's venomous fangs. Looks like the Adamant Syndicate also managed to trick the Quicksand Claws to get in. Frank thought he was digging for treasure when, in reality, he was just digging a tunnel to avoid the spider nest. For once, I'm starting to feel bad about his death. Huh? Why is that? Because I didn't get a chance to see the look on his face when he dug up a bunch of the spider sacks. Oh. When you put it that way, I kind of wish I could have seen it too.